What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of JT Bricks. Today I have Ninjago City and I will be reviewing it for you guys today. This set has over 4,000 pieces and is the fourth largest Lego set ever made. And this set is so amazing and really nicely detailed. So let's have a look in at the building itself. Alright, so this set comes with 16 minifigures and one robot, which is really awesome. My favorite figure is probably Coco. Okay, so this set can come apart in a lot of pieces, and it also just takes uh, it takes longer to put it back, to back together than it does take it apart. So here is the first floor. This first floor is probably my favorite floor. The, the water is actually really nice. So over here at the back, there is room for a small boat, and that boat can actually fit under the bridge. So over here is a area for the charging, so the robot can charge right in that little room. And in this room, there is a, basically a small little fishing shop. There are two apartments on this level, and this first one is kind of like a tea room. And I actually really like the use of that hair piece as a plant. And then over here, the other half of the apartment is just a bedroom with a TV and a dresser. And the door can open up, and you can put technically two figures in here, but really, it can only fit one. There's also a TV. Over here, there are some signs and a very nice bridge. And which you can put some figures on it. I just love the water in the set. There is also a small payphone. Now let's go up to the next level. All right, so the next level has a couple of shops. And so first, let's have a look at the ATM machine. So the ATM machine actually is really cool. It can dispense up to 13 pieces of money, and it actually works really nicely. And here at the mechanism at the back, you just push this little green knob. Over here, there is a comic shop, and the comic shop is one of my favorite stores in this set. So this little roof can come off and in here there is some like little like toys and stuff and there's also a reference to Lego movie and this is that cat poster which is actually really cool. Inside the comic shop there are some action figures and there is a place for the guy to stand. There also are some comics and there are some collector cards and there's also some references to other Lego themes. Alright, so in here, there is a small little grill and a place for people to sit. And there is a small function right here that you can turn the normal crab into a cooked crab. Just by flipping this switch right here. And it actually is really fun to do. And here is a mechanism right here at the back. And it's actually connected by a rubber band. Alright, so over here, there is another function that you can do. And if you push that, all these things fly out and it kind of happen really quick. But these are actually kind of like movie posters. So the idea is you can slide this one out. And then you can slide this one in, just like that. Over here, there also are a lot of signs. And this actually comes with a translator, so you can translate what all these say. But I have not really done that yet. Now up to the next level, there is only one shop up here. Right here, it's just some nice designing, but it's only... You can't go in there. And then inside the hat shop, there, these are right here, are just um, basically um, folded up cloth for those hats. And these gold things are folded up cloth for that other hat, not real gold bars. And then over here, there are some more hats. Alright, so over here, I believe that is a sign that says danger. And there is a very nice tree out here, which you can angle in different positions. Now, going up to the next level. So, how do you get to Lloyd's apartment? Technically, you go like this up that bar and this is actually be kind of freaky to get up there but you can lift off the roof and inside there is two bunk beds and this actually can come off and Coco is down there or Masako and over here there are some books and some of Lloyd's like toys or whatever and then there is a microwave and a TV in the attic it has a place where you can put Lloyd's ninja suit all right so up here there is a basically a sushi restaurant and this actually is a function that you could spin the conveyor belt so you can pick what sushi you want and actually it's really fun and these can just clip in like that all right then over here there is basically there are some seats over here so there are three tables and there is a nice brick built puffer fish which is actually really cool and then over here moving on to the back there is the last part of the elevator which is actually um, is actually the smallest section, I'm pretty sure, of the elevator in this whole set. And then over here, there is a small little green building, and this can come off. And inside of it, there is a small little chef hat, and then there also is a beard to put, or a mustache to put on that guy as a disguise. All right, so here is a small little green building. So you can take off the roof, and inside is a small little bathroom with a toilet. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Write in the comments below what floor is your favorite. My floor is probably the first floor, the old world. Well, don't forget to check out all my videos from JT Bricks. See you guys next time.